Hello everybody and welcome back to another week with me. I'm so excited to say that we are actually going out of town again on this vlog. We are actually going to be going to a wedding and I will be doing all of the wedding makeup and also attending it because it is a friend of mine getting married and I'm very excited. And I've never been to this area that I can remember. So I do want to explore um, maybe like a thrift store while I'm there because that's just what I do. I just have to see. <laughs> I, have to know. I have to know. I'm excited to share all of this with you this week. I hope you guys are stoked. Let's just dive into it. I've got a lot to do today. So let's uh, begin. Okay, I have everything. I have my Saks Fifth Avenue dress that I unboxed with you guys. Can you believe I got this dress for $7.98? That's just crazy. They had that 75 off clearance sale and this is a really nice dress from Saks with the tag still on and it's very cute. So it could be a contender. I have this hot pink dress that I thrifted ages ago and I haven't worn it actually ever to any special occasion. So I think it'd be kind of fun to wear this. It's such a cool dress. And then I have this dress. Again, a dress that I thrifted that I've just held on to for a special occasion, never worn it yet. And I've just worn it in videos basically. And so I really like it and it could be fun. It could be fun. So this again would be another one that I'd want to make sure I really accessorize it right. Okay, here's dress number one. I like it. I actually think it's a lot more soft and comfortable than I remember. I've only tried this on one time, I think. I had originally brought this harness to put with it because you know me, <laughs> I love a harness. And I, I think one of the reasons why I do like harnesses so much is because I feel like it helps give me better shape. I do like it. I do like this dress. This is a good one. Okay, so here is dress number two, which is that pom-pommy yellow floofy dress. It does have pockets. I'm not excited about it. So let's try dress number three. Here's the third dress. There's just something about this dress. It's very baby doll. It's giving Carrie Bradshaw. Like I just, <laughs> I just love this dress. Look how much fabric I can fly away. I love the sleeves. They're just such a weird shape. This dress is very, it, it to me reads very like retro 50s kind of dress. I just don't know. I don't know if this is a wedding dress. It's also, it's also hot. I'm already hot and I'm not even outside. If this is gonna be out in the sun and I've got this on, am I gonna be too hot? I think the first dress with my new jean jacket that I got, but I have to replace the buttons on them. Why is this parking lot so full on a Thursday in the afternoon? Like what is even going on? Is it a holiday weekend? I think it's, it's one of our first nice weekends with like all sunshine and warm. So I bet a lot of people are just like getting ready to have a nice weekend outdoors, which in the Pacific Northwest, we don't mess around with our sunny days. Uh, so I'm gonna pop into TJ Maxx actually because the last time I was here, there were display of those foam curlers that you can buy that you can wrap your hair in and when it's damp and like sleep with it in. I'll have to show you. It's like heatless curl foam rollers. I've done it with a robe because I know that you can like twist your robe strap and do it that way. Hang on. Nothing to see here. Not talking to myself at all. I used a robe and it worked okay, but I think the foam rollers have a way of holding on better. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get one finally. And I'm gonna tone my hair today too. So um, once I tone my hair, I'm gonna try the foam rollers tonight. And then that way, if it works, I can do it in my hotel. And then that way I could do everybody's makeup and my hair could either still be in the foam rollers or I might just take it out. And that way my hair is mostly done because I have to kind of get ready so that I'm mostly ready for the wedding day so that when I'm done with everyone's makeup, I literally just change and touch up my makeup. The toner is in. <laughs> it looks brown, but it's not. It just makes it um, not yellow. So it'll be like a gray color for a while, which I love and I would prefer, honestly. Ate some dinner. I haven't fixed my lips or anything, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple of things. This is what I was talking about. This is the heatless curl set. So this is how you do like the twirly whirly thing over your hair and clip it and then you sleep with it in. And it's supposed to, 
yeah, six hours it says, and then it's supposed to naturally curl your hair. So I'm gonna do this tonight. So we have that, that's what I got. Also, when I went to Sally's and got my toner, which I just used the Wella toner in Palest Ash Blonde. That's the one I go for every time. Um, but they had, it's a 10 half off, and this stuff is so expensive. If you have bleached, blonde, damaged hair, and you want something that makes it really soft and silky and healthy feeling, this is a miracle. It really is it's called a miracle leave-in, but it really is. It works wonders on dry hair. So I'm, I was so excited to see that. And then I grabbed three different nail polishes. I couldn't decide and they were all so affordable. Two Sally Hansen ones in a pearl color and a pink because the last pearl that I got I hated the formula and this is just a really light pink and then I also thought this was just a really pretty one if you can see see that it's like an iridescent silvery purpley unicorn glitter so I'm gonna have a hard time deciding okay I'm gonna go put all of this stuff away see how much longer I've got on the hair and then this is probably gonna be it for today because I need to pack and I'll see you guys in the morning with an update of the rest of what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what I think about this. It was not comfortable to sleep with at all. I feel like my hair's still wet too. It's been in for a really long time. I don't know if this is gonna work for me. That's such a long time. That's been like 12 hours. I said to do it for six but I'm definitely gonna be bringing my curling iron. But the tone came out great. I love the toner. Oh gosh, I'm running out of clips and I really don't wanna mess up my nails. I did paint them. I did the opaly silvery white color. Love the way it turns out. It kind of matches my buttons. <laughs> all right here is the outfit for the trip up and a little exploring around in arlington i'm wearing this dress that i upcycled i'm in love with the pockets look look at those pockets if you guys missed that upcycle it's some videos back i'll link it above and a little sun hat because it's going to be a warm day and what else got all my stuff packed it's a lot for one night got my work stuff i've got my dress i'm wearing and just a overnight bag and my computer because i'm going to be doing some work okay so anyway uh i'm off oh my god i freaking made it spa do i need to go get a massage garden bistro cute Wow, check it out. <laughs> the room is kind of fancy. Nice stand-up shower. It's even got like a jacuzzi tub. Kind of nice. And then it's got a patio. Because you want to sit outside and take in the scenery of Costco and the highway. Whew, I tell you what, that drive, it felt like, I felt like the drive to Sacramento was less stressful than that two hours up north through Bellevue and getting past everything during rush hour. It was a nightmare, an actual nightmare. Fireplace closed for the season. Oh, they must turn the gas off. Yeah, at least it looks nice. Little couch, living room area, nice giant TV. Nice big bed. It's a decent hotel. I think it's, it's not bad. I was really surprised by the koi palms. <laughs> um, I need to collect myself, but my car is parked in the front of the place. I need to take this bellhop thing back down because I brought everything up. when I used to drive this car I used to just set it on this little spot on the dash because it has the most perfect little like dash grip but anyway I'm actually heading to a little vintage store and it's a strip area that I think has a lot of little shops yeah we'll see there's also a lot of garage garage I'm broken I need I need to just relax I need to get back to my room and relax so I'm gonna have some fun I'm gonna go do some stuff but then I'm gonna spend the better part of the evening with forensic files on and editing reels that are backlogged leave it to me to find the little adorable downtown area I found it 
It's like a whole little walking area with a bistro, coffee shops, vintage. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, before we go antiquing, I'm stopping off at this place I saw on the way in. It's called Vintage Orchid Coffee. I had to know, do they have vintage inside of Vintage Orchid Coffee? And they did. They had cute decorations and mama needed a latte and I got a vanilla latte. It was delicious. The first antique place I went to was called Sassafras Vintage. The owner was so nice and he said, go for it if you want to film in here, whatever you want. So I had a field day getting footage for you guys because I really would prefer to get as much as I can so that you can shop with me if you see stuff that you're like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, there was just such a nice, uh, display in each place it was packed with stuff just as you would expect in an antique shop so you can dig I was really on the hunt for anything cosmetic related that was antique so I was really trying to find that perfect makeup train case this one was really cute it was from the 1940s it was just a little bit too small and then I saw this one and my heart dropped I was like that is beautiful but it was $85 then I chatted with the owner a little bit about this lamp. It's an amazing lamp. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. God, that's beautiful. I will say that this store was probably my favorite out of all of the ones I visited, and the owners were so friendly. Now on to Bits and Pieces, which is right next door. They had a few vintage compacts, so that was delightful. And these beautiful hand mirrors. Oh my gosh, look at how old and gorgeous they are. I love this little tin uh, collection. Oh, and now we're on to Russ's place, which is the one next to that one. They literally are all in a row. They had these old wedding gowns and they were teeny tiny, but oh my gosh, I just thought they were so beautiful. And I also had a tin fetish. Everything I, I kept gravitating towards tins. Uh, this basket, oh my God, my mom used to have one just like this and it always smelled like sandalwood. Oh, and then more compact or more makeup. This is like old makeup containers. Now onto Caitlin's Corner where I found a plethora of old Avon and old perfume bottles. Oh my gosh, and these brought me back. I remember drinking out of those when I was a kid. And then they told me to go to this place next, which they said that in the back they have a glass and plate breaking target you can throw things at for a dollar and it's supposed to be therapeutic and she said that this is like their money maker. I also love the way they had stuff organized. This is definitely an antique store I think guys would like because it was a lot of dude stuff. And then I walked by the cutest cafe. There was four women outside smoking cigarettes with curlers in their hair and it brought me back. <laughs> I had such a great time. This little town is so cute. If you're near Arlington, pay it a visit and go antiquing because they had so much to choose from. So the next stop is called Nutty's Junkyard Grill. <laughs> and it's apparently really good so we're gonna try it and it sounds horrible but it sounds like everyone says it's the best burger place in town so we're gonna go to Nutty's And then I have to go down the shining hallway, just looking for two twins to pop out and scare the ever living shit out of me. I am back from my thrifty adventure. That looks really good. Oh my goodness. And then I got some fries and a big old bag of ketchup. Hmm, what's going on at Costco? I see. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> so good. Let's get into this. This is what I got. Look at that. There was also a snuffer for candles, but that one was 25. This one was only five. It even has a velvet base to it, but it's a little bud vase. And I freaking love this so much. I love bud vases. They're just enough room for one or two little flowers. And then you are able to set it wherever on your desk, wherever you want, in your windowsill, in your kitchen on your vanity, you know, just the little rose in there. It's so pretty, it's like sterling silver, so I'll have to get some baking soda and water and just give this a little scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, but 
that whole area had a lot of silver things and I was just drawn to it. I don't know why that area was pulling me, but he said that there's a th there's another antique store right next to him. So I popped right, I went right out that door and right into another. So that one I found compacts. There's one that was $350 and it's really, really old. But I was telling him that I know somebody in New York that has the most insane collection of vintage compacts and has the book when we did that whole art deco compact collection video i'll link it above i edited that video and it was fascinating and she went to the home of some of the biggest vintage compact collectors in the world and so you'd have to go check it out because that was a really cool video to um, see and it got my eye thinking like gosh every time I go in taking I'm gonna look for compacts and this was one of them and this was ten dollars look at it look look at it I think that's a fair price for a vintage compact here's the back it's got little swans on the front and it does have a little spot for the powder. Powder is still full on in here. There's just no poof. There's no powder applicator poof. Isn't that funny? Oh, that makeup is so old. I wanna clean the mirror off and just keep it in good shape. And I have a little spot that I'm, I have a little spot that I'm keeping these and $10, not bad for that. But that compact that was 350, I'm gonna do a little reverse Google, Google lens where you can take a picture of something and search across the web for it. It's one of my favorite things. And then what else did I get in that shop? I got one more thing in that shop. This is amazing. So there was two sitting on this little section calling my name. Look at this beautiful vintage hand mirror. It's so pretty. Honestly, I wanted both. I did, I wanted both. But I had to think about which one I liked better. Even though the other one looked older, this one had more appeal to me that I really liked and the condition of the mirror is much, much better than the other one. The other one, the mirror was really clogged over. Um, this one's actually functioning, so I could use this. It's so pretty. Think about who in time held this and did their lipstick and their makeup with their little compacts. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't tell, I light up when it comes to this kind of stuff. I just get so excited about it. Then I was on to the next store and the next one had quite a few treasures in it. Sometimes I'll shop for clothes in the color theme that I'm wearing. It's almost like I'm in a mood for that that day. Like I'm looking for gingham that day or I'm looking for gray clothes that day. So today's theme was old tins and old containers and I just kept picking them up and touching them because there was just so many good ones. But this one that is quite the tin. It has feet on it and the top of it goes in because it's an old fruitcake container. And what they would do is put the fruitcake in here and close it. But then when you're ready to serve it, you can put the cake on top and it's a stand. So it doubles as a cake stand. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is so going in my beauty room and it can display some of my old compacts. Maybe I'll put my blood face with it. You know, I can decorate this and make this in that little stand for stuff in my beauty room. So that's definitely where that's gonna go. And then that was all I got at that store. And then the final store that I went into had the most stuff that I got. The first thing that caught my eye was this. I love hobnail and I love milk glass. So this was like check check. This actually was two things that I love in one. Oh, and these were, I wanna say like $3. This little guy, look, it's a dog. It's a little doggy. So you can put a little plant inside. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it if I'm gonna do a plant, but I just liked how vintage retro, like 1950s, he looked like a happy little pup. And here is the final thing. This I saw when I was checking out. So I thought this was it. I thought I was just gonna get these two things and leave. And then as the guy was ringing me up, I saw a stand with like a case enclosed with a lock on it and everything inside was vintage Avon. <laughs> I was like, I was kind of starting to collect some vintage Avon bottles just because they are so quirky and weird. 
and so I have the rose and then I have the decanter with the pitcher that I got at the Goodwill. So when I saw this, <laughs> oh my gosh, look, this is an Avon aftershave and beard treatment. What is it? Oh, here we go. Cologne and aftershave. I'll have to look up what year this was because there's like an Avon archive. And so they legitimately come apart just like that. And you can use them separately. Nothing left in here. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. You know what? It would be kind of fun since they're empty to like rinse them and fill them with something, something to think about. Also, do I want to do that or do I want to keep the original scent? And will that original scent ever truly leave? Probably not, but they're still really cool. I love it. So that is my little vintage antiquing adventure and all the well, things that I, I fill up the tub. I actually went and like got a bunch of stuff from the Target. That's really loud. I got a bunch of stuff from the Target, little, uh, you know, mini miniature travel, whatnots. Can't believe it. They actually had my favorite shampoo and conditioner in the miniature size. So that's amazing. Yeah. And then I got a toothpaste, a little deodorant. That was absolutely magical. And I did not want to get out. Nice. I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna tidy up, get everything situated, I'm gonna get their present put together and watch the sunset over the mountains <sighs> and relax. This is so great. Okay, I am ready. Glam is done. This will not probably stay this fluffy, my hair. Here's the makeup outfit, just the black moo. Some moo's I do like to leave long. Like this one I won't cut because I actually really like it long. I'm gonna get going. Wish me luck with the brides. I'm gonna have a busy five hours from here on. Actually the whole day, because then I have to record everything. Anyway, bye. Look at how... Adorable. Even just the entrance and the drive here was so precious. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I'm not too early. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Adorbs.
it was the longest makeup shift I've ever had as far as weddings is concerned. It was awesome and it was so fun and I met so many amazing people. Heather has some really cool friends and I met some people that I just am like, I totally get it. I would like, I wanna be everybody's friend. But um, I'm heading home, I'm so, I'm just so tired. It's nine o'clock and I'll be home at like 10.30. So catch you guys tomorrow maybe. When I tell you that I slept like a brick, <laughs> I need like a, just a walk day. I need to go for a nice walk, but I'm gonna go to Chambers Bay Golf Course and walk the grounds. Um, they have a really cool path above the golf course that overlooks the Puget Sound. And then I'm going to Trader Joe's to buy filet mignon and spoil me and Lyle with a delicious gourmet dinner and some dessert and just tuck, tuck in to the couch and watch House of Dragon and have a me night. All right, we have made it. I'm actually excited about a little like breezy walk out in the sunshine. And then after this, Trader Joe's. And I actually might even pop over to a good old home goods and get a new candle because I'm out of my nightly candle. I light a candle every night with dinner and I have my soda water. Ooh, soda water. I gotta remember that. I have my soda water. So excited. I'll have to show you the views because it's magical. What a freaking lovely walk. That was so nice. And do you ever feel like sometimes your headphones are just reading your mind? Like everything that my Apple Music was shuffling, because I just hit shuffle on all of my music and we'll just skip if I don't like it. And it was just back to back playing amazing stuff. I was in heaven. <laughs> I think there's something on your face. Look at this. It's a candle. <laughs> It's so heavy. It's really cool. It's like a, not a Medusa, but her her head's gonna be on fire. It's very, yeah, Medusa. And this, the fragrance is lemon and summer moss. This is teak wood and oak. I prefer these amber or, I like yellow or see-through or amber glass candles. I just think they look better when they're lit. If you can't see the flame through the candle when it's illuminated, it kind of takes away from the ambiance a little bit. Oh my god, and I want to crawl inside of this. I love that shaved man smell. <laughs> I do. Oh, small batches in Orange County, California. That's where I was born. Cool. Just a quick pan of what I got at Trader Joe's for anybody who is curious. Uh, some snacks, dinner for tonight, filet mignon. I'm gonna do roasted carrots and broccoli. And uh, for dessert, I got us the Chantilly Cream Vanilla Bean Mini Sheet Cake. <gasps> Yum. Very excited about that. Can't wait to spoil myself with a hearty, delicious dinner. And then start a new week next week. And um, I think I've got some upcycling projects. Don't quote me on this, but I think I've got some upcycling projects that I'd like to get done. So stay tuned. But thank you so much for watching this week with me. I really had a great time. It's always fun to include you when I can in any sort of work stuff. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me this week. Please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.